Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a sewer tech northwest. <clears throat> Today we're at property address 120 Cedar Lane here in Wood Village. I already inserted the camera as you can see here. Going through a uh, four inch cast iron uh, stack in the crawl space. It's the point of access. I'm going to check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running as you can see and here we go. And the line transitions here to, looks like, it's hard to see the transition. It's going to concrete pipe. Uh, it's either four or six inch. It's very hard to tell. As there's some standing water right prior to the uh, clean out here. Or I'm sorry, the uh, transition. Just for the sake of ease, we're going to call it four inch concrete. We do have root intrusion just beyond that point. <coughs> Roots here as well. More roots. And we've got roots pretty much every joint so far in the concrete pipe. Very large root intrusion there. And then here it transitions over to PVC pipe at 52 feet. And then here at 61 feet, we have reached the main lateral. We're going to get the water turned off now and drain out. I'm going to do some uh, markings out in front. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and reel the camera back here <clears throat> while the line drains out. The uh, PDC part of the line here, uh, it's draining uh, relatively well. It's There is, it uh, looks like, some standing water in a couple spots, but it's not um, all that bad. It's pretty... Uh, minimal. I'm going to map the line out here from uh, 52 feet back to 26 feet at the cast iron transition. I'll use white paint, mark with an X here, I'll do a, a, a line at 40 feet to show the direction that the pipe runs, and then a white T at 26 feet to show the cast iron transition. Recommend a full replacement of the uh, concrete pipe Yeah, I'm going to continue to reel back here. I did a white X marking. We're only about two feet from the street curb in the front yard at uh, three feet deep. I'm going to pull back here to uh, 40 feet and do another marking. 
right about here. And then I get another marking at 26 feet. I, again, I recommend a full replacement or uh, possibly a sleeving of the concrete section. I would submit it to some repair guys and see if they think that sleeving would be a decent option. Uh, it's ideal in some circumstances, but because this is so shallow, uh, doing traditional excavation would allow the line to, to get proper slope and grade again. There's not terrible amounts of standing water, but um, in this circumstance, the cost is probably very similar. Okay, we're halfway through the uh, yard here at three feet deep. Did a white line showing the direction the pipe is running. We're going to reel back to one more marking at the transition from cast iron to concrete. Again, it looks like we've got uh, root intrusion from in pretty much every single joint. And you can see that there is some standing water here in the line. Uh, so that's why the excavation technique would probably be ideal as it would take care of all that stuff. And we do have some standing water here in the, in the cast iron pipe. When I do the, the locate at this transition here, I'll see if we're within the crawl space or not with this standing water. Uh, and I don't have a crawl space wand, so I can't really locate. Uh, but it should be fairly easy for repair guys uh, to figure that out going through this crawl. All right, do a white line, white T marking here. Okay, marked here with a white T. And uh, it's about five, six feet out from the foundation here at that T marking, about three feet deep there. And uh, standing water starts right here at uh, 20 feet. So I, I took the white paint markings all the way back to the foundation of the house. That's pretty much where the belly uh, starts at, is at the foundation. So start the repair there. And that will correct the roots. And as well as the uh, belly. I'm going to go ahead and reel the camera all the way back out. Recommend a rescope after the repair to ensure that the belly and the uh, roots obviously were taken care of and that the repair was done properly and the line drains out properly at that point. But the majority of the cast iron pipe here is looking good. And I went through a, a, a drain opening here. I just pulled that drain apart and went through that, but it does hook onto that four inch stack there.